Calvin Ballrath is one of Canada's biggest fiddling sensations, composing over 450 songs and recording 56 albums. Calvin calls St. Paul home, and tonight ATR takes a look at the man behind the music. It was there I found the I love music. I find music is emotion. And me not being a reader, I mean, I'm playing from my heart. I'm playing from... Uh, all the inspirations I've had in my lifetime, my father being the first one, uh, but you know, all the records and eight tracks and cassettes and CDs and, and now it's MP3s, you listen to all these, there's so many styles of music. And so when I'm performing or when I'm able to share my knowledge, what I have, and the, and, and the students are sitting there and eager and excited and wanting to know more, really that's the payoff. Or when you're sitting in, uh, you know, playing a concert and the people sitting in the crowd and, and you and you can make them smile, you can make them tap their foot, you can clap their hands or maybe shed a tear. Uh, uh, you're just bringing the joy to the people. I mean, it's 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 wonderful. That's, uh, I mean, I, I, I just love to play and I love the people's reaction. And it's his endless passion for music that's made Calvin Volrath one of the best musicians in the world. Well, my dad was a fiddle player, and uh, I was eight years old when I got my first fiddle, uh, December 25th, 1968. So I grew up with fiddle music. It's been a part of my life. I've, I've made my living at it uh, since I started my own first band in 1975, and uh, music has taken me all over the world, playing here and playing there. It's also earned him a spot in the North American Fiddlers Hall of Fame, various music awards, and the title of Grand North American Old-Time Fiddle Champion twice. 1988, I taught at the very first fiddle camp in Canada at Emma Lake, Saskatchewan. And I'm an untrained fiddle player. I've just learned at home from my dad playing and listening to others. So I don't read music or nothing like that, but uh, I'm able to uh, share my knowledge with, uh, with everybody else. And now there's fiddle camps because of the Emma Lake Fiddle Camp in uh, 1988, fiddle camps have spawned all over the country. There's probably 50 or 60 camps all across Canada now. And when Emma Lake, after 20 years, it uh, dwindled away and the organization stopped putting it on, I thought maybe I should start my own camp. And I just live here in St. Paul and St. Edward being 10 kilometers away, this is a beautiful facility at the St. Edward Renewal Center. In 2007, Camp Calvin was born and musicians from all over started gathering in our region to learn from one of the best. Well, I live in Vegreville and I decided almost on a whim that I was going to learn fiddle now. And someone uh, that I was taking some lessons with, she mentioned to me that I might like fiddle camp and I should look online to see if I could find one. And then I discovered Calvin's and it's only an hour away from Vegreville, so I thought I would try it out. I really had only played about two months before I came. I'm from Edmonton and uh, you see I was uh, playing with the Edmonton Symphony Orchestra when I met Calvin and he showed me, when I was, was playing with them, he showed me the fiddle camp. We ask fiddle players to be able to know something. We, we're not set up to, for teaching bare bones beginners. So we say, if you know three tunes, that, that's a good start and you'll fit in on classes. And uh, we, we actually had the Grand North American fiddle champion from this year that just, he won it two weeks ago. He was here as a student in, in, in week one and he come from Manitoba. We have students from Boston here this week. We have students from Montana, every province in Canada, BC, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario, uh, nobody from the territories this year, but, but we've had people from Ireland over the years and, and it's growing. Next year we're going again two weeks, the last two weeks of July in St. Edward and uh, there's a number of people here in the last two weeks that say they're coming again for two weeks next year. So. I really like the learning process. I like that it's immediately rewarding when you work hard at something and you start to produce a good sound. It feels really good. Uh, well, there's one tune that I like to play. It's called uh, uh, Mist Over Cape Smoky. It's a, it's a tune by Calvin Balrath. Uh, yeah, Calvin, Camp Calvin, Calvin Balrath. Yeah, it's a tune by him that he wrote uh, a little while ago, actually. After these messages, we'll hear more from Camp Calvin, including some famous guest instructors.